I think Norm, my partner, and I have been mistaken for swingers. Yes. And I think we've been hit up. Really? Yeah. Now, this is how it goes. Uh, my ex-boyfriend, Simon, who I haven't seen for 10 years. Is he gay? No, he's one of not, the straight ones. One of the, not like the three gay ones that I've got. Oh, he just left you not because of his sexuality, because he just didn't like yeah. you. Which hurts a lot more. I prefer them yes, to be absolutely. gay. <laughs> and the last time I saw him, like he was the one for me. I was so in love with him. And one morning, Simon, he said to me, "Not a great name, Simon. Simple, know, simple Simon. Simon, Simon that says, it. yeah, um, I mean, I, Simon." But I tell you what, I would have said that name from the rooftops for the rest of my life if he had it stuck with me. Because one morning he so said- So you're making Norm feel like second best. I, I really love Simon, but I'll accept you, Norm. Oh, no. But, and then I found Norm and he was my soulmate. Love you, Norm. You've got a sore back at the moment. Don't let this weigh you down. And uh, <laughs> he, he, he said, darling, can I get you breakfast? This is Simon 10 years ago. And I said, yeah, I'd love a toasted cheese sandwich and a juice, please. And he's like, I'll be back in a second. Never came Back oh, down to the shops for a toasty and, <laughs> and, 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 and got like, a better offer. <laughs> but I was like, you woke me up to ask me for breakfast. If you wanted to sneak out, you could have just left. You hear like, those stories of people popping out for something and then just thinking, oh, I'm just going to keep going. Yeah. Mm. And then I ended up getting a hold of him like three months later because I didn't know if he died or I didn't know if he did. Just no sign. Go just on. no sign. And and I finally got a hold of him and he's like, oh, yeah, sorry. While I was in the juice line, I thought, oh, God, there's no competitor to boost juice. I might start a juice shop. And then I knew a guy who a- had a juice recipe in Sydney, so I thought I'd better go home. And I was like. Well, he sounds completely radio rental. Well, the next time I heard from him from that conversation was a week ago. So, 10 years has passed. Juice, where have you gone? Oh, and this is the swinger offer. Yeah, and he goes... From Juicy Simon. Jess, I've heard that you're back in Sydney. I'd like to invite you and Norm to spend a couple of nights with me in a cabin in Jarvis Bay. (laughs) Okay, well, first of all, let's just drill down on it to see whether it's a real swinger setup. Jarvis Bay, Mm. it is the swinging capital of the Southern Hemisphere. How do you know? Most swingers go to, okay. for a weekend to Jarvis Bay. It's like it's full of perverts. Yeah, Jarvis J- Bay. JB, yeah. where are you going for the weekend? JB, oh right, on a swingers weekend. So tick. <laughs> does he have? Uh, does he wear an open Palaco body shirt with a lot of gold jewellery? The shirt, yes. The jewellery sometimes. Well, you haven't seen him for a while, so he might have jewelled up. Does he have a thin little moustache or all the little flavour saver thing under he, his he lip? He does have a flavour saver. Swinger, Jeez. swinger. Does he have a large fruit bowl into which to place keys? <laughs> Bang, I have swing. <laughs> so, does he wear very tight cl- pants and and sculpt his his genitals like Shervo? <laughs> mm-hmm. Bang, yeah, swinger. swinger. So these are the swinger qualities. <laughs> Any other swinger? Gear? No, I'm just hoping that you go on this weekend well, we and go? Norm finds out the hard way that you've got four gay ex boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> would be brilliant. I want like you know how we go. <laughs> Have fun. All the easy way. You've got the moon man in the morning. Sydney's 104.9 Triple M.